everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I am sharing a Halloween decor haul video with you. This candy dish here is one of my favorite things that I picked up. This is from Target. I think I had showed you guys this in my Target Halloween shopping vlog. So this is what it looks like and I'll show you guys what this does. This is so cool. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting. Come for the candy, eh? I don't know why, but I'm always obsessed with all of the little eyeball decorations that Target has. And right now I just have it filled up with a bunch of yummy candy. I also picked up some new Halloween pillows to go on my couch. So first of all, I got this one here from Meyer. And this one was normally 20 and when I went to pay for it, it rang up for only $11.99, so I was really happy. And I think this one is my favorite. I like the pumpkin on this one. And then I also picked up this one here from Kohl's that says, Welcome to our web. And lastly, this little one here from the dollar spot at Target. It has a little spider. I love how this one has the glitter on it. It's so pretty. I also picked up this really cool candle holder here from Meyer. It has some pumpkins on it, some ravens, and spooky trees. This also rang up on sale. I was so excited when I got up to the cash register. I think this was actually around $8 cheaper than it said it was. So I was like, wait, what? I always get so excited when that happens, when you go to buy something and it ends up being cheaper than what you thought it was. And this looks so cool lit up at night. I also picked up this cool spooky candelabra from Target. I love the bulbs on this. I think it looks really cool how it looks like they are real flames. And also this is sparkly. I love decorating for Halloween so much. I actually filmed a vlog style type video showing how I decorate some of my house for Halloween. That video should be going up soon. Moving on to some spider stuff, I picked up these cool light up spiders from Pottery Barn. And I really love these because these are battery operated, which is nice because you can pretty much hang them up anywhere and you don't have to worry about putting them near somewhere where there is a plug in. So that is what they look like. And speaking of spiders, I also picked up this really cool spider web from Pottery Barn. I hung this in my office in the window and it's kind of hard to see during the daylight. I'll put in a clip here so you can see what it looks like at night. I also stuck some of these little clear spiders in here that I found at the Dollar Tree. I found some really cool skulls. This one here I found at Pier 1, and I thought this one was so pretty. I love the giant pearl in the skull's eye. And then I picked this one up from Home Goods. These are so pretty. I love all of the sparkly skulls they have out this year. And this one actually lights up. It's battery operated, I'll show you. Here is what it looks like lit up. Hopefully that is not blinding you. Also from the dollar spot at Target, I found this creepy Halloween glittery tree. This one I believe was $5 and then I added some of these battery operated string lights. I always get so excited when I go to Target to look in that dollar section and I'm just grabbing things so fast because I feel like if you see something in there and you don't grab it, you turn around and a second later somebody else snatches it up. It's kind of like home goods. If you see something and you don't buy it and then you go back, it is gone. I also picked up a couple of these bowls from the dollar spot at Target. So first of all, I got the one that says Hocus Pocus because you guys know I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus best Halloween movie ever. And then I also got this one that just says boo all over it. And then on the inside it says trick or treat. I thought these would be really cute just sitting around my house. I'll probably fill them up with some candy. And then if I have people come over, I have some little treats out. And then I also picked up this cute little guy here. I found him at TJ Maxx. I'm probably gonna stick him in my kitchen and maybe put some dog treats or something in there. 
I also found this thing which I bought last year but they sell these again this year at Target and it was so funny. Last night we put batteries in this and Madison was terrified of it. I love the eyeballs so much. I just heard Madison walking down the hallway. That's so funny. She probably heard that thing was like, what? And then I also picked up a Halloween mug. I actually picked up a few. I have to get the other ones. This one here is from Meyer. So on one side, it has a jack-o'-lantern face. And then on the other side, it says trick or treat. Here are the other mugs I picked up. So first of all, I got this set here from Kirkland's. This one says Mr. Handsome Devil, which this one will be Bill's. And then mine says Mrs. Wicked Witch. I just thought these were really cute. And then on the inside, they have a little face on that one in a witch's hat. And when I bought these, they were on sale, I believe for $8 for the set. I think these Mr. and Mrs. mugs are just the cutest Halloween mugs ever. And I actually have mine displayed right now over in my little coffee station. This is just kind of how it looks. And then I picked up a couple of these mugs here from Home Goods. They say spooky. I only have one here because the other one I think is sitting in my office full of coffee. I also picked up a couple of these Halloween signs. This rustic wooden one here is from Kirkland's and I'm just realizing when I'm filming this exactly how much stuff I bought with spiders on it. So I really like the way the rustic wood on this one looks and it just says boo. And then this one is from Home Goods and it just says Hocus Pocus, I need wine to focus. Again with the Hocus Pocus. And this one I think I'm gonna set in my dining room. I have a little spot where I'm gonna do potions and things like that. So I thought it would look really cute sitting there. This one actually came with candy corn all over the side of it, but we just spray painted this a matte black. We kind of taped off the front and then Bill spray painted it for me just because I don't know, I didn't really care for the candy corn on the sides. It was okay, but I kind of just thought it was a little too much going on, so that is how it looks. I also picked up this bigger sign here from TJ Maxx, which I hung right when you come in from our garage, and it says, Salem's Full Service Garage, Flying Broom since 1692. I thought this was perfect to hang here just because our garage is right there. And then hanging below it on the coat rack, I have a couple of witches brooms. This broom on the left is new. I picked this one up a few weeks ago from Joann's when they were having a super good sale on their Halloween decorations. They were 60% off and then I had another 20% off. So I got a bunch of decorations for an amazing price. And then this one here, my mom gave to me a few years ago. And it was so funny because last week I caught Madison in here trying to eat this broom. Her little naughty butt was in here chewing on my witch's broom. So that is what it looks like. Like I said, I think it's cool having it hanging there since our garage is right there. Plus it's really convenient for when I'm getting ready to leave because I can just grab my broom and go. More spider stuff, you guys. Like I said, I didn't realize how much spider stuff I bought until I was filming this haul video, but you cannot have Halloween without creepy spiders, am I right? This one is from Target and it's by the brand Hide and Eek Boutique. How cute is that? So this is what it looks like. We actually just hung this up on the wall last night. I will show you guys so you can kind of get a better idea. It's kind of hard when you just see something in a box to know what it looks like, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like hung up on the wall. Here's what it looks like hanging up on the wall and right now I'm watching The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. My sister and I both always loved this. So look how cool this looks, you guys. I am so in love with this. Originally we had this hanging down here on the TV stand but I didn't really care for the way it looked. So I asked Bill if we could figure out a way to hang it up on the wall without having to put holes in the wall because I don't know about you guys, but I do not want to put holes in my wall just for seasonal decoration. So my husband is a genius and he figured out a way to hang it up with fishing line. We have a little bit of a space up there. So we hung it up there and there's also a plug up there. So it worked out perfectly and I love it. It's also really cool too because the plug-in up there is on a dimmer so you can dim this. Look at that. You can either have it a little bit dim or nice and bright. Dim or bright, which I'll probably have it on the brightest setting most of the time because I think that one looks the coolest. Here's what the little spideys look like. This right here is by far my favorite Halloween decoration out of everything that I picked up. This spooky tree. 
I bought this on a website called Grandin Road and I'd actually had my eye on this for a few years. I wanted it so bad, but it was a little bit pricey. But I finally found a coupon code and then I also had one for free shipping, so I decided to finally order it. I figured, you know what? Why not? I've literally wanted this thing for years, so I decided to get one and I am so happy that I did because I love this. Also, this is not staying in my house. I just have it in here right now because I haven't moved it outside. I'm probably going to put this on my porch or somewhere in my front yard. And then I want to either hang some bats or put some little ravens, something really creepy like that. So here's a little bit of a close up of what the branches look like. I am really impressed with this tree. It looks really good. And you can also bend the ends of these a little bit. So you can kind of go like this and kind of shape them, whoa, shape them a little bit. I'm looking into the viewfinder as I'm doing this. So, so you can kind of shape them a little bit different. So that is going to be it for my Halloween haul video. If you guys have any questions at all, just let me know. Also, if you're interested in watching more of my fall slash Halloween videos, I will put links for them down below. Also be on the lookout for my Halloween decorating vlog that should be coming up very soon. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next video.